Alright everybody, right then welcome back and this is going to be looking at the camera application on both Sense 3.0 and TouchWiz 4.0 um, obviously running on the Galaxy S2 and the HTC Sensation so it's kind of a bit of a Sense vs TouchWiz and Galaxy S vs Sensation video so you know we'll get into it now so what we'll do is we'll just boot up the camera on both, the on the both the phones first of all so they are both there now what I'll do is I'll run through them one I'll run, run through them individually so you can obviously get a bit of a better look what we'll do is we shall do the sensation first in this one right then and what I'll do is I'll just zoom in so you can actually see it better right then so basically on the um, sensation it's obviously slash sense Basically, the way it works in this one is you can go from individual ones, so you can go to your video and to your camera very, very nice and easily. And you can also go to your front facing camera and to your back facing camera. Let's get that off there. So, it makes it nice and easy. Now, tap each one of those, job done. You can turn your flash on and off and also put it to auto. So, that's just there at the side as well. And here, you can add your very nice effects. We'll just switch them. So you can add your different effects. You have no effect, dis, you know, kind of distortion. Oops, come back. Uh, you know, I think it's Vigna or Vigna. I don't know. I'm um, Yorkshire. Um, yeah, English, but yeah, dot Yorkshire. Um, depth of fields. I think it's mosaic. If it wants to, let me stay there. Dot sorry. Uh, vintage, vintage warm, vintage cold. So as you can see, you get quite a few different options on that. I do like the negative one, that looks pretty cool. So, they're the basic options you get there. You also get the option to zoom in and out. So you can zoom in out straight away on that there. Very, very nice. And if you want to go to the last taken picture, you click that. And what I will do is we'll go to the last thing you've taken. So there's one picture that I took when I was doing the videos. Right, so to get into more customization to actually start changing some of the, the aspects of it, basically what you have to do, and I'll zoom out a little bit because it looks a bit funner, is you drill down into your menu, so you go to your settings, and obviously you can see it kind of pops out like that. And I wish you could kind of like go like that, but obviously not. So basically on this, this is the camera one first of all. You can have self timer. So you can see, right, I want, yep, one, 10 seconds, two seconds, or off, oops, my bad. You can do choose different scenes. Um, you can also do your image adjustment, your white balancing, so you get your different variations of white balancing. You get your ISO, so you can obviously change that up to 800. Which you know, in a lot of um, smartphones, you don't normally get like this as like an option, so it gives you a little bit extra. Or you can do different resolutions. These are the ones that come for the sensation get a review duration so once you're taking your picture show you know how long it's going to be on there afterwards right and this has got a nice little feature you can choose right on one widescreen or not widescreen you could do geotag photos on auto enhance on auto focus face detection the shutter sound which is nice to be able to turn on and off nice and easily and obviously you can also turn your grid on which you can see on the screen there now or you can reset it to default so in terms of that there you do get a you know pretty comprehensive look at the different ones there, so you know it's it's pretty cool. You know you get a a nice selection. Now if you go to your video mod, the ones you get in that once again you get scenes, so you can choose which one you want for the actual scene. You get your again image adjustments. So this one here you can actually change it properly. Because this, this is the video you get to actually change these, all the settings. You can get white balance, video quality, and there are the video qualities you can do on the sensation. You can do stereo recording on or off, so it's a very nice feature. Record with audio, so you can actually turn the audio completely off. Shutter sound once again, and obviously your review duration. So I mean in terms of you know the aspect there. I mean, it's pretty comprehensive for a, for, a, for a mobile phone and you can, you can do that within the actual video as well. 
So as you, I think you will agree, he's got quite a few extra settings that you won't normally expect for a smartphone. So it's very nice implementation of it. We'll bring the Galaxy S2 back in for its touch width. And we'll just show you what this one looks like. So basically it's a very similar feel in terms of obviously your camera button in the middle, up there to change to your um, video and video, you know, video and your pictures. So obviously you can flick from one to the other. You can either tap it, or sorry, slide it up and slide it back down. And it will go from one to the other. Obviously to indicate if you're not looking there, you can see that it goes to a nice little red dot like the, the actual um, sensors as well. To get to gallery on this one, you basically click this little logo on there. And there's a picture of my dog. Say hello, Chester. Right. And to change the picture to go to the front and the back one on this one, um, it's a bit different because you do get these four down the side here. Now, obviously, you can just tap that there. And it goes to the front facing on there. Now let's go to the back one. Um, you can obviously have your flash on or off. Comes in this little menu, you can do your different scenes. Um, I will go down to the menus in a moment because this you can customize. So, I'm going to show you the customization on this first of all. So, basically, you press menu and edit your shortcuts. You can then choose which four you would like on here. So, if you're saying, right, I'm not that too fussed about seeing what, what scenes are going to be there, let's take that one off. But what I would like to do is change the resolution more often than not. So, you go, right, that, that's pretty cool. Now when you press that one there, it brings the resolution. Um, I personally think this is a, you know, a great implementation of it. Just for the fact that you, know, you can customise what you would like on your screen. So it gives you more, more freedom. So the ones you can actually put on there is pretty much everything. So you could do effects. You could do exposure value. You could do your timer, your focus mode. Your white balance, ISO, metering, scenes outdoors, anti-shake, auto contrast, blink detection, which actually does work, the um, image quality, the guidelines, the review, GPS on or off, the storage, you can choose where you want to storage or reset completely. And basically what that is, is that that is everything that is pretty much within here. So it's your choice as to what you want to do with it. Again, I like the idea of having the you know, being able to choose what you want on on the screen, so it's you know a bit more customization. So I'll just have a quick look in some of these. Um, obviously, you can see your flash, so the shooting mode. You can choose you know smile shot, beauty, panorama, action. You can do your scenes, so very similar. You got pretty much you know same ones, a couple of extra ones as well. Um, exposure value, so you can obviously put it up or down. Oops, silly Sam. Right, so you can obviously do your autofocus. So you can see, right, I want it to be autofocus macro face detection. You can do your timer, effects. So, different, you only, you only do get, it's unlucky you, you don't get as many effects in this one. You do only get the three standard ones. So, maybe that's something you can look at possibly in the future. Resolutions, these are the resolutions you get on the Galaxy S2. Pretty much the same. ISO, once again, up to 800. Change the metering mode, so you can have it to center, spot, or matrix. You get your outdoor visibility, so you can have that on or off. So I'm not going to go through every, every individual one, because you obviously know what they're going to be. So you can obviously choose your different sizes and whatnot, so the different quality, sorry. So I think you'll agree, it's you know pretty comprehensive. And the exact same thing can be done for the video camera. So you could basically say, right, I would like to change the resolution to 1080. I want it to go back to 1080. Or I want to add a quick effect. So and it's a very cool implementation. Obviously, you could put the flash on or off. So yeah, it's all down to personal preference at the end of the day. But my personal, you know, pick on the camera application would be the the one for the Galaxy S2 slash touch with 4.0 is definitely the winner in this case just for the fact that you get more customization you get more options so it's, it's a no brainer to be fair it wins so let's look at the camera application I'm going to be doing the 
what we're doing next on these. I'll be having a look at the calendar and messaging apps. So if you stay tuned. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe. You know you want to. And I shall talk to you next time. Cheers.